American President Joe Biden's much doubted West Asia tour has now finally concluded. However, the question of course is uh, has the tour that grabbed global headlines throughout the last week made any significant impact in terms of strengthening America's power projection in the region's geopolitics? And what has Joe Biden gained from this high stakes visit to the state of Israel and also to the other Arab region? nations in the region now this remember was for uh, was the very first visit of joe biden to west asia since having assumed office last uh, january and as anticipated much of the focus of this trip was about strengthening diplomatic ties with the several uh, of american gulf allies from jordan's king abdullah to the Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, the American President Joe Biden paid a visit to a number of West Asian leaders as a part of his four-day tour. The meeting with the Saudi Crown Prince in particular was the highlight of this visit. This because the meeting follows the ban administration's release late last year of an intelligence report that directly accuses MBS of killing the Saudi dissident journalist Jamal Khashoggi that the Saudi Crown Prince if ever has time and again denied his involvement in the act. The administration has also sanctioned a number of Saudis in connection with the alleged killing but stopped short of imposing any economic penalties on MBS. The partners also pledged during his presidential debate to make the kingdom into a prayer state following Jamal Khashoggi's murder. But instead, this was Martin sitting face to face with Mohammed bin Salman, they're trying to negotiate and improve the American ties with the Saudi Kingdom. The signs are pretty clear uh, that the United States and the aftermath of Russians invasion Ukraine is seeking closer ties with the Saudi Kingdom. And this is also being done by the Americans to try and bring down the price of oil that's been bubbling at over a hundred dollars per bottle. The American president is now also seeking an increase in oil production from Saudi Arabia to tackle the gas prices back home. But will the Saudis oblige this? Of course, is a big question. Now, another issue that also was up for discussion was the Iranian nuclear deal of 2015. That's been criticized very frequently by the Saudis. We will not walk away and leave a vacuum to be filled by China, Russia or Iran. We'll seek to build on this moment with active principal American leadership. Joe Biden's meeting with the MBS has received hit its share of disapproval as well with critics slamming him for ignoring his human rights policies. Biden, however, has said that his focus was on Jamal Khashoggi's murder during the meet and that he even confronted the Saudi crown prince over this issue. Now, the final day of the summit, Biden attended his summit with Arab leaders in Saudi Arabian city of Jeddah, where he told the leaders that the United States will not walk away from West Asia and will help the region in every way possible. The Biden participated in the GCC summit with the leaders of its members, Bahrain, Kuwait, Oman, Qatar, Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, along with the Egypt, Jordan and Iraq. The Biden also led out his vision for his engagement in West Asia, promising to remain an engaged partner so that China or Russia cannot exert their influence in the region's geopolitics. The Saudi conference, meanwhile, has reportedly warned that unrealistic policies to curb emissions could also fuel inflation. Last year, Saudi Arabia had pledged ahead of the COP26 climate summit to achieve net zero carbon emission by the year 2016. On the diplomatic tourist front between Israel and Saudi Arabia, it seems that Biden's high stake visit has done little to help in terms of easing the sovereign tensions between the two nations. The issue of overflights. Uh, is a decision we took based on our commitments under uh, the Chicago Protocols and also in the interest of providing connectivity between uh, uh, countries in the world. And uh, we hope uh, that it will make uh, some travelers' lives easier. It's uh, not uh, in any way uh, a, pre uh, a precursor to any further steps. This is Saudi Arabia on Saturday said that decision to lift restrictions on all air carriers using its airspace was not related to the normalization ties with the state of Israel. 
this amid speculation that Saudi Arabia took the decision to mend future ties with the state of Israel. Meanwhile, US President Joe Biden on Friday pledged about $100 million to support hospitals in East Jerusalem as part of a multi-year commitment aimed at helping the Palestinians' health services. But this is a reversal of Donald Trump's 2018 policy which saw the United States slash $24 million to the hospitals in Palestinian territories as a larger part of the suspension of aid to Palestinians. Along with the push for greater West Asian ties, Biden's latest tour also aims and also kick-started the first summit of the I2U2 grouping besides the United States President virtual summit was attended by the Indian Prime Minister Modi and the Israeli Prime Minister and also the Emirati President. The grouping that has been dubbed as the West Asia Quad intends to increase joint investments in six key areas such as water, energy, transport, uh, space, health and food security. It also seeks to mobilize private sector capital to help modernize infrastructure, uh, improve public health and promote development of emerging green technologies. So subscribe Samar Hamdani for more updates and news.